Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand basic of Eclipse. So in previous session, we have already seen how we can install Eclipse on Windows machine. Now that's my Eclipse. I'm going to start it. So double click on the Eclipse. And here we have installed Eclipse Mars. So it's going to start on my machine. So first of all, when we start Eclipse, it's going to show us this window that asks for the workspace. So what is workspace? So workspace is the place where all the project which we are going to create in Eclipse will be saved. Means whatever the task we are going to perform on the Eclipse, it's going to save on this location. So you can keep it default or you can select any other folder. I am taking it as a default and just click on the OK. So my Eclipse is going to be started. In this session, we are going to understand the basics of Eclipse. So how we can start Eclipse, what's the architecture, so we are going to see that. So once Eclipse is started, we are going to get this welcome window. This welcome window is not useful for us, so we are just going to close it. So when we close the welcome window, we are going to get a layout. This layout contains many windows like here we have the package explorer. We have in the middle we have editor. So that's a layout which is by default over here. And if you see over here, that's a Java layout. So in Eclipse, we call it perspective. So here we can see perspective. Perspective is a layout which is designed for a specific purpose. So here for the Java programming, they have designed a layout which is this. We can have different perspective in Eclipse. So if you go to the windows and here we have the option of the perspective. So it shows like as of now we have Java perspective, we can start debug perspective. So this perspective is required when we are going for the debugging. Perspective means set of windows. So if you are going for the debugging of your program, whatever the required windows which are required for debugging will be open so if i click on the debug perspective it's going to start all the windows which are required for the debugging so perspective is a set of windows which is required for a specific task so here we have the layout which is for the debugging so that's a debug perspective here we can see debug perspective if you want to switch back to the java perspective here we are coming on the java so we are going to change this perspective in our course, when we require debugging, we are going for the debug perspective. When we require to go for the Java coding, we are going for the Java perspective. So here in the Java perspective, we are going to get few windows. So here on the left hand side, we have a package explorer. This window is required to us. We are going to create project package and lot of test cases. So all the test cases will be displayed over here. So that is that window is important for us. And here on the middle, it's a editor. So in editor, we are going to write code. So that window is again important for us. Rest of the windows like the task list, outline, it is not required as of now. So I'm closing it. So I closed the rest of the windows. Now I'm taking an example like by mistake, you have closed this window. So how we can bring any window back so to open any window we can go to the windows show view and here we can give the name of the window which you want to bring back just click on this and here we can see package explorer is displayed again now to work on the eclipse first we need to create a project so I'm going to file new and here we have the option of the Java project. So I'm selecting Java project. Giving the name of the Java project is Selenium Automation. The rest of the things we can keep same. Just click on finish. So as we click on finish, a Java project is created. And if you remember, while understanding workspace, I told you 
whatever the task we are going to perform on the Eclipse will be saved in the workspace. So if you go to the workspace, that's my workspace and here a folder is created with the name Selenium Automation. So if you see that here on the GUI we have SRC, on the back end we have this SRC. So as of now we have just created a project. Now whatever the test case, whatever the coding file you want to create that will be created inside this SRC. We can right click on this and we can directly create a class. Class means coding file. But it's not good practice to create class directly. The best practice is to go for the project and then package. So package you can understand it like a you know folders we are creating like if we have 100 test cases so if you write all the test cases on this SRC folder so it will be difficult for us to manage like which test case belongs to the login which test case belongs to the registration so with the help of the packages we can distribute our test cases on a different folders so here right click on the SRC and I'm going to create package so that's my package and we can give any name to the package so like as of now I'm giving like login test cases so you can give any name of the package Now we have a project, inside the project we have a package. Now we can create files in which we are going to write code. So right click on the package, new, here we can select class. So class means the file which we are going to create for, for writing code. So here I'm going to give the name of the class is TC001. So that's my first coding file is created and it is open as well now we can start writing coding so here we have seen like whenever we are going to work on java first we need to create project inside the project we are going to create package and inside the package we are going to create the file in which we are going to write java code also we have seen like a basic set like how we can start any window, how we can open any window, and apart from it, what is perspective. Few more important things which I want to show you, like as of now, my fonts are very small. So if you want to change the font size, you can go to the windows, preferences, and here in the general, we are going to get option of the editor. Inside editor is a text editor, color and fonts, and here we, go, we are going for the edit. So now I'm setting the size of the text is 40. Click on OK, apply, and OK. So here you can see the font size just increases. So whatever the changes you want to do related to the editor, you can go to the preferences, and here we have the option of editor and inside the editor, text editor so what are the changes you want to make related to the editor you can make it over here like as of now you can see like in the front of each line we are getting the line number if you don't want to display the line number so here is the show line number i'm removing this checkbox apply and on the back end you can see line number is removed from here so whatever the changes you want to Related to your editor, you can make it over here. I click on OK, and here we see. We don't have a line number anymore so that's all we have for this session that's a basic eclipse understanding session thanks for watching this video